you come from? He might as well be behind him, just kicking him in his yeah. ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that shit was gonna stay on. I know Billy. That, that was a, shit away. Boy, that was a good dog. <laughs> I, I wish I could have got that. Yep. So yes, yeah, so much. Oh, he did. He did a matrix. <laughs> that shit went. <laughs> so come on, man. No. <laughs> So, everybody's seen, has seen, or uh, you know, just come on TV or pop your internet on, or look at your phone. Everybody has seen all these uh, riots that are happening, all the anger that's going on out there, all the frustration, all the violence that's happening. It's uh, it's terrible, you know, all the terrible news that's out there. Uh, so, I mean, listen, I don't want to pull myself away from it. You know, it's not like I don't want to. Uh, <coughs> I, I don't want to be reminded of what's going on out there because we all do, mm-hmm. all the time. Because apparently we never learn. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. So, you know, I don't mind being submerged in it all the time. Have to be as hard as it is. But every now and then you need just a a brief light distraction. <laughs> just a brief just, just, light distraction. To be able to take a, take a breath. Just take a breath, man. Just stop mm-hmm. crying for a little bit. You know, try to get a, I, I, it ain't too selfish to try, you try to get a giggle or two mm-hmm. up in there. Try. You can try. And that's why I went over to Netflix, man. I said, you know, Netflix, they got they got happy things over there like the Jeffrey Epstein documentary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I just got through with that one too. I'm like, shit. God damn it, can't get away. But I was uh I said, thank God, at least at number one. At number one, Martin, at least at number one. I said, thank God, at least at number one, we have a comedy at number one. With Space Force. I mean, this thing was really meant to just make people happy. And I said, perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Until I read those reviews, man. <laughs> God damn it. I, I, I had to go out there and pick some tomatoes, man. <laughs> I said, why'd I do that? You know, I, I didn't need a salad that bad. <laughs> you know? saying, man, why'd you pick them tomatoes? I, I, why'd I pick these tomatoes, man? I didn't. I did not need a salad that bad. I put no salt on till you taste no, it, man. I should have had a bowl of Jolly Rancher cereal, man. <laughs> That's right. Treat yourself every yeah. now and then. Should have had something sugary and sweet because these tomatoes right here—they weren't very healthy for my <laughs> for my mood that day. I looked over there at my tomatoes. Not ripe. Forty percent, man. It was just mm. hey, and it's an improvement. Uh, yesterday was thirty nine percent. Yeah, it was. So, hey, so yeah, yeah, man. You know, and I was just like, God damn it, it's, it's not, it's, happiness is just not meant for me. <laughs> they don't want nobody to be out there happy, man. They, you know, they don't want anybody to feel any joy at all. Can I just get one little laugh without somebody sitting up here saying it sucks? Apparently not, man. You know, the reviews for this are so harsh. <laughs> Started just a little controversy. Just a little bit of controversy. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, just a little, yeah, just yeah, a little bit, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like I said, you got the riots and then you got Space Force. People out there mad. <laughs> you know? like, yeah, I'm going to go back out to the riots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got better reviews. <laughs> yeah. Well, they said here, you know, the reviews are so harsh. They said, are people being too harsh on this? Are people just, you know, being, they've been a little rough. Picking on this thing right here because uh, maybe people's expectations were too high because of some of the names attached to it, mm. mainly that of Greg Daniels. Mm. Greg Daniels got a lot of producers credits, man. Like I said, this man has brought smiles and laughs for decades. He has, uh, as a producer, been involved with The Simpsons, mm-hmm. King of the Hill. Mm-hmm. And once he was done with them cartoons out there, let me do some real shit. Parks and Rec. Yep. And, of course, The Office. Yeah. And and more recently, upload. Up oh did he do upload? Mm-hmm. That's right. His name is on upload, and yeah. I like that show. Yeah, but you know, you know, this guy is, this guy's experience with bringing people a he's, lot of great comedies out to, there, man. He's got a good track record. He's proven himself to be a mega TV producer. So so what what the hell happened here? Well, you know, you can't yeah. win them all. Right? Yeah, that's a lot of average. You know, I, maybe you can, but people are still like, you know, you're looking at this and it's just kind of like, hey, you know, maybe people. Maybe people are just in a bad mood, you know? Maybe people, maybe people just don't, maybe people just don't don't want to like nothing right now. Maybe people are mad at everything. You know, it could also be, um, could also be the premise that's throwing people off. You know, we're gonna show you trailing a little bit, but with this, uh the 
you have Steve Carell as Sergeant uh, General Mark Naird, just made four star general, and he's a pilot. And he's like, well, shit, since I'm a top pilot, I've flown everything out there. Shit, I've flown a dragon before. <laughs> I've, I've done everything. <laughs> so, of course, they're about to make me the head of the Air Force. And it's like, oh, yeah. You're going to be up right. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be up there very high up in the air. In fact, we're going to take you to a place where there is no air. <laughs> You're going to send your ass to space. So maybe people are expecting like some kind of heavy political satire when they really should be appreciating this for what it is. Just a goofy workplace comedy. You know, right up there with the office. You know, not with all, all the, you know, mugging at the camera and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> that guy's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more straightforward. You know, after all of this, people saying, Corey, now you just got me confused. Well, I'm confused. Oh, I was until I said, you know what? Let me just go and watch this because is it really that bad or do people just need to sit back and relax? Remember how to have fun again. I know it's a hard time right now, but, you know, everything's not going to be the office. Okay? Everything's not going to be Parks and Rec. So I just had to watch this for myself. And, We'll show you the trailer right now. All of us have watched some of this. Maybe not all of them, but all, some of this. I'll yeah, I've, I've, I've watched most. Most of it. I, I okay. need, I need a, ch- a chance to finish it. I didn't finish I it. I think whatever we say, it'll be a well-rounded opinion and yeah. perspective we have here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer for Space Force. My main concern is our head scientist. This is the moon. Flat, desolate. The surface is actually a complex topography. Okay. Get him, John Malkovich. Get that yeah. moment. Yeah. <laughs> Every time he says something, too. <laughs> he's just sitting he's like, there. Hold on, dumb motherfucker. He does. John Malkovich, I'm going to tell you this right now. I love John Malkovich in this show because he yeah. just sits there and just waits to, to attack this motherfucker, man. He lets he him does. finish a whole stupid uh-huh. ass statement, dude. Don't even cut him off. No. <laughs> just so you know. He just bullshit. waits to ambush this dude, man. <laughs> Every time. Every well, time. In front of people or alone. <laughs> well, it, it, I mean, it, he has to because. Somebody could come in here and go like, all right, you know this better than I do. <laughs> yeah. Let's work together. <laughs> and like, that's not happening. So Malkovich is like, all right, I'm just going to sniper. Right. Malkovich stayed there <laughs> cool as f- <laughs> and, and almost an asshole about it would let him go for five minutes saying some of the dumbest shit. Yep. And he'd be like, well, <laughs> just an, waiting to ambush his ass. We're going to eat your guts. So the game of mental chess has begun. It's hungry, hungry hippos have best. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Keep f- with him! <laughs> he does have all the best lines. And he always turns out he's just f- there. Yeah, he's always behind him. Where the f- did you come from? He might as well be behind him, just kicking him in his yeah. head. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that shoe was gonna stay on. I know Billy. That, that, that was a, shit boy. That was a good dog. <laughs> I wish I could have got that. Yep. So yes, yeah, so much. Oh, he did. He did a matrix. <laughs> that shit went. <laughs> so come on, man. No. <laughs> Who would like to give me a good reason why we should launch today? I say launch. Great. And you are Doctor. Call me Eddie. Oh, Ain't shit. a doctor. I go to a bunch of them now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that dog. That dude. That dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give, give that mother on show <laughs> uh, I don't know who that guy was <laughs> and they don't either but the, get the janitor his own show man do a spin off a lot of them though <laughs> do a spin off with that dude he, he gave me one of the biggest laughs in the show no okay your heart rate is quite high turn back Martin. it was the weirdest day I was uh, barely into the first episode I said, man, let me cut these rides back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, man, Cause, for real. Because this, 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 this shit right here, this, this shit right here, this, yes, <laughs> here, <laughs> this shit here <laughs> is depressing me. Oh, I was like, I'd rather, I'd rather watch my tear up some shit than watch this show. <laughs> you know, it's just not my style that, of that, comedy. Yeah, that's what I think. Watching it, like me knowing you. If you had come to me and said, should I watch this show? I'd say, you, hell no. <laughs> Not at all. What if I said that to you, Martin? <laughs> should you watch this show? What if I, what, what, what would I, what, 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 what should I, what should what I say recommended? Yeah, what if I, yo, what if you asked me? Uh, if you said, I would think you would say to me, there's some laughs in it. It's mostly silly. If you got nothing better to do, maybe. But 
not really. If you absolutely positively have nothing else yeah. better to no, do. Yeah, no, that's the thing. We, we live in a golden age of television where it is not humanly possible to watch all the great shows. There is no time for anything <laughs> that's below that. Yeah. I don't believe me. That is below, for me. For me, I I, I want to speak for myself right here. The or, the audience score for this being so high, I I can I, I think I can understand it. it I'm just gonna be fair here and say, it's not for me. It's just not my style of comedy. When I say my style of comedy, I mean that this is that sitcom style of comedy where it feels like a comedian is on stage setting up his joke predictably. Mm. Where I you know I I uh, I know you know I, I might not know. You know, I'm listening to the joke, and I might not know what the punchline is, but I can see that shit coming, man. Mm-hmm. And when it gets here, it really ain't worth the wait. I only wish that my parents could have been here to see this. But they were unable to get flights from New Jersey in time. <laughs> 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 Audibly, I live alone. I uh, audibly groaned on that uh, one. I was like, uh, "You gotta be." At first, I, I saw it coming a mile away. I know, I know. and then I was like, "You gotta be." Shit, I know, me. I know. Uh, it's it's like the the new vaudeville telling jokes, right? Like I mean, that was like I was like, "Is Henny Youngman in this?" I was like, "I couldn't believe." I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, they should have had a dude back there. Trombone, please. yeah, trombone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. It, this is the, the, that rhythm. Yeah, that yeah. yeah, that rhythm, you know, hey, I just flew in from so and so and boy I'm like, yeah, f you. Yeah, right, you know right. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. No, he's right. And seriously. Yeah, I, I yeah. just don't, you know, anytime I hear like bang at the end of a joke, it ain't my style, man. It's so early in the program that when it and when it does a joke like that, it's kind of telling you, okay, right. this is this is my rhythm and this is the kind of show I am. It does. So if you stick around, it's on you. It's on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, but you know what? That doesn't mean that it's good. I can sit up here and say, because there's things like, if I'm speaking for myself, I'm going to tell you, I think the writing in this is terrible. I think it's awful. Yeah. Yeah, I think the writing, and that's just, if you enjoy it, then I'm, I'm not going to argue with you, and I'm not going to even tell you your taste is bad. I, just, I personally think that the writing is terrible. I'm not going to sit up here and grade this on a curse and, well, they told me ahead of time, because yeah, I would stop. I would. You know, you're right. I was like, normally I'd be like, all right, but since I had to watch it and talk about it, uh, I, I, I think the writing is bad, man. And, here, <laughs> and, and, and right there, that joke does tell you the rhythm of how the jokes are being delivered here, mm-hmm. what the, what the uh, dialogue is like. But it really sunk in, man. It really sunk in what made me uh, dislike this show or, what is, or why I was going to dislike it as much as I do. Uh... There's a scene where you got these two generals. You got, like I said, you got a uh, uh, Steve Carell, four star general, and then you got a, you, got, oh. you got this other general. Now this is like right after the scene we just saw. Him and Noah Emmerich. Noah yeah. Emmerich, yeah, they yeah. get together and they and they're acting like so they meet each other in this hallway, <laughs> and they're acting like high school kids. Yeah. And I'm like, when I see that scene, I was like, it clicked to me. Aha! I know what it is about this that's gonna bother me. Gender roles. Offensive and out of date. Because you are a crook and a womanizer and I hate your guts. God, they felt good. You know, I said, that's where it is. The f- idiots. But it's not so much that they're idiots. This is a show where they are idiots only when they need to get a laugh. Yeah. 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 Most of the time, they're grown people, they're grown mm-hmm. ass people doing things that grown ass people mm-hmm. do in a comedy of this type. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not expecting them, you know, to be to be a uh, uh, dramatic actress of the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know, but when they need the ha ha, mm-hmm. you know, they start acting like f-ing fools. Like they're almost mini challenged in some parts, but they go back and forth. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. He's completely confident, and they're like a dick. And also, with that scene, bothered me too because that was that felt preachy. Like, like, like you're, you're, you're a womanizer and this and that, and I hate you. And then it would have been funny if he had been like, like, come on, bitch, or something like that to another woman. I mean, like, I was expecting something like that. I was like, wait, that's the joke? Yeah. Okay. So much of the problems in, in this setup, in this first episode, is that, and I think it's a, it's a problem <coughs> overall, but especially here, where you, where you lo- isolate this scene, is that we're just introduced to these characters. And we've known these actors from other things, mm-hmm. comedic actors. But here, they are playing four-star generals. Yeah. They do not seem like they've spent a day in the military, right, let right. alone generals. In but high school. If, yeah. Yes. If, if, <laughs> yes. Like if they're serious in the beginning 
and really sell us on them being generals, then we can go with it when they're a little bit sure. silly later. We go like, oh, there's more dimension to their character. Yeah. But right off the bat, yeah, it's like, oh, well, they're idiots and we shouldn't take them seriously at all anyway. This is, just a, this is just a farce from day one. <laughs> that's yeah. a good point. That's, a, that's an excellent well, point. Well, I don't, again, I don't mind it, man. I could, <laughs> I, could, I could handle that if they're idiots, you know. I mean, that'd kind of be funny if we're talking about a show where you put people in, 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 in control of us to head up a space program and no one knows what they're doing, mm-hmm. that would be fine if there was co- some consistency and some believability there. They only need them to like be just downright stupid when they need to like like a like when they need to sell a gag in the cheapest way possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, because uh, uh, because the jokes and just again to me they're just not that clever. As they, by the episode three, we got Steve Carell talking to people's dicks and <laughs> stopping the. St- <laughs> <laughs> stopping, stopping the whole show to talk to somebody's penis and and and, and do this and and, man, and really just but see again I don't mind this kind of humor if it's done in a way that is uh, fits characters fits yeah. character development consistent. progresses uh, the story are consistent but man they stop there's no story progression here they stop to do these lame ass jokes about talking to dicks and tampons and neither am I. Like the world's most powerful tampon. I always thought that you reaction were shots. a tampon. Reaction right. shot, baby. Uh, oh, oh, oh. And, and by the way, well, it's we need Patrick something Warburton. to break up this shot. Right, exactly. <laughs> Tampons spend all day in vaginas. She knows what I'm talking about. Acknowledge my gender again, and I will f- you in the ass. You know what? I actually thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> she, and, and, and she knows, and, she, and nobody knows how to deliver something like that, like Jane. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, no. It was, then it that's was, funny. It was delivered perfectly. You didn't know she was going to say that. Right. No, you right know, when you started to get tired of this bullshit, right there, oh. those two. And the sh- and, and the reaction shot from Steve Carell. I, I'm not fun of the reaction shots in this, but I didn't see Steve Carell said, "I better leave this bitch alone." Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, right, she might be serious. Yeah, she, <laughs> she ain't playing. I uh, I actually see. So I'm not trying to sit up here and say that. There's nothing funny in here, cause but I just think that when people say our expectations too high for this, uh, I would say not really, not given the uh, not given the 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 talent that we have behind this and the in the level Stellar of cast, it, amazing cast, yeah. Too high. I think people looked at the quality of work that was behind Greg Daniels, and then we see here that the jokes are so bad that wow, man, is this. Were you even around to supervise any of this? Right, and that's the thing. You know, that, that's and that, that's what the sad thing is too, because it's so well shot too, mm-hmm. and you could see the yeah, money, money behind it. You could see the money behind it. Like yep. the, I remember I was telling you all before we started shooting. Yeah, the, the the special effects are so great, and that's a problem when you have someone like uh, <clears throat> who's so big, like Greg Daniels. Like, the, here's the money, and we you, you you've proven yourself. Here you go. Yeah, and we've seen what you've been doing with no right. money. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Right. So go on. Netflix so just go gave it. Netflix gave him an open check with this, man. There you go. And then go on and do it. And he was probably like, all right, y'all got this, right? I'm going go, <laughs> I'm going over here and chill. So I'm going to go to this strip joint over here. Yeah, whatever yeah, I got yeah. left, we're going to make this show Yeah, with. my boy Stevie C's got this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever's left, we're going to make yeah, the movie. Yeah, show make this show with my change. You know. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. But, you know, let me tell you why I say that the writing, I feel like, is, is bad. I'll go as far as to use the word amateurish. Because... You don't need to do certain things to 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 sell characters, man. But when you when you know when you start to go and sell a a character with a bunch of stereotype stereotypes and tropes that you don't need, first of all, you know what what we're dealing with. Uh, so, you know, it's it's they do things that are the equivalent of an Asian person coming in and they play the bwang, the gong. Oh, God. It's the equivalent of a of a of a Mexican <laughs> uh, walking into the room and you. Hear, they do it with Russian with a Russian here, man. They got a Russian character who's dating uh, Steve Carell's daughter, the general's daughter. And uh when he comes in, and they don't they weren't doing it at first, but then they bring in the uh the Russian music in the background as he's talking. And we've had about two, three, four episodes to know this. Guys, Russian. We hear mm-hmm. the accent. We don't need the music. It was bad enough, to, you know, that you made him such a stereotype anyway. But then you got to bring in the music late in the game. Observation. You think I'm spy? Oh. The thought is. You see, our interests the same. Yeah, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing they did when they first in, in the first episode with him. Like you know how he kept just saying weird, inappropriate shit, like because yeah. he's Russian. Whatever joke that's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. And then <clears throat> when he's like, 
oh yeah, the secret phone. Well, you'll get texts on secret phone. And he's like, did you say secret phone? I did not say secret phone. What are you talking about? Oh. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. That, I kind of like when people do. No, no. He just keeps saying the same shit over and over again. And I was yeah. like, man, God damn it. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. It was like, no. there's like so many missed opportunities. You no, know, it's that kind of yeah. cute little bit. <laughs> you're, no, it's that kind of cute little right? bone yeah. humor yeah. in there. Is that, I'm sorry? No, I say it's, those, it's like, it's that cute humor. Too, right, but it wasn't, it wasn't nothing cute about it. That's what they got me because I was like, this is ugly as hell. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, because it was, it was like, it was right there. And I'm like, this has got to be going somewhere. That, that, that's, yeah, you know so what, much that's, of this happens in the show. That's what you hit it right there. A lot of humor just keeps going. And they're, they're jokes that need to be, if you're going to sell this kind of humor, they need to be fast. You don't need to be dragging these out because <laughs> yes, some of them are not that the funny. Right. Be, they would be worth a chuckle <laughs> if you just did it quickly. It's almost as if it got sold as a certain amount of episodes and then they had to fill in that time uh, yeah. rather than here's, here's what we got and let us just do this many yeah. episodes. It, to, to your point, this joke. But they repeat each other. Uh, well, you know, they, this joke about a secret phone. Uh, you can call me anytime on the secret phone. And you know about the secret phone? Oh, what phone? Yeah. You know, they just left it right there. <laughs> All right, yeah. we're done. We're yeah. done. But what oh, do they no. do? But what no, do they do? No, we got to play freaking frack over here now, you know, with going back and forth. <laughs> Another 30 seconds. And you're yeah. like, God damn it, I get it, okay. And yeah. speaking of stereotypes and amateurish writing. And I see this, and I'm not going to even hold it completely against this show, because I see it done in shows that I actually like, and I'm sick and tired of it. Uh, I'm so tired of any show out there, whenever you have to have a teenager in there, they got to be the biggest assholes. No, I know. I know. I'm tired Thank of you. I've been, I've been talking about how tired I am of that, too. Because <laughs> it makes people go like, man, yeah, I hate kids. I'm like, no, you hate TV and movies. Yes. Right, yeah, right. Because yeah, they can't ever listen. They always got to talk back. Always petulant. Yep. I'm oh. sick and tired of it, boy. I see it in good shows and I'm tired. I'm watching the show right now and I'm just like, F another one of these? Yeah. Uh, especially when the teens ain't kids no more. Mm -hmm. So you can slap the f*** out of them for talking back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this girl, Diana Silvers, she was in Book Smart. I actually and, like her. And Ma. And, uh, yeah, she's a mom. Well. Ma oh, that's right. She was. You know, uh, that's the girl that plays the daughter. She actually looks like a, you know, if Julia Roberts ever needs the daughter in a movie, uh, they need a flashback, <laughs> you know, maybe they have a. Or uh, Anne Hathaway needs a daughter. Anne yeah. Hathaway, yeah. Or they ever do like a pretty woman prequel where you find out how she became a hoe or something. <laughs> <you know? laughs> <laughs> now, now, I want like that movie. Yeah, I want, I want that. Well, then, I want that movie too. Then she tells the yeah, story it, one point. It, 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 yeah. it ends with her getting yeah. off, get, getting off the bus and yeah. downtown. Yeah, LA. who who, who yeah. turned your ass out? Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, you look like you lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah. Oh, girl, it's great. I got a, a modeling contract coming up. And the guy's really taking good care of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go with you. Uh, yeah. Tell me that'll look like some shit. Turned your Like you said, look at that, how she got turned out. Look, look, look like she just got into the big city, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate her character. I like the actress. I hate her character. Oh, God. I hate her character, man. Uh, they, they really don't sell it why she has to be such a bitch, man. No. She does not. She does not. Why is she such an asshole in this? And like I said, it makes you angrier because she lays it on thicker than actual teenagers, like 14-year-olds that we see in these things. She's 18, and she lays it on way thicker. Jesus Christ, Dad, get off my back. I want you to go over there and wipe the counter. It's really not that big a deal, okay? Quit being such a bitch about it. Hey, hey. hey. hey, hey. Woo! My mother would have wiped the counter up with me. <laughs> and then mopped the floor. And then... <laughs> I know. I know. I mean... I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm sure the Caucasian members of our audience are going, well, what? Well, what? Yeah. Well, well, why? She's just speaking her mind. <laughs> hey, you do not talk to me that way. Yes, sir, General Nair. Get your keister in there and clean the kitchen. That is a direct order. Change the locks on that bitch. Yep. Mm -hmm. She'll come back and find out she don't live there no more. Yep. Yep. I said, all right. Yeah. I'm a bitch. Off yeah. room. I'm a bitch. I'm, okay. I'm a bitch. All right. I'm a bitch with a home and you ain't now <laughs> you don't, don't take it off uh, room. yeah that's my room now uh, yeah <laughs> i'm gonna leave the door on yeah. there <laughs> you yeah you want to you want to be grown first you know it's, e it's either that i drag you in here back by your hand yeah, exactly. beat the shit out of you because you're 18 now <laughs> all right you don't have to come back in here no more yeah. your ass really will be hoeing after this because <laughs> you ain't coming back to the house <laughs> oh, you ain't see that shit i know oh my god quit being such a <laughs> bitch quit being what? such a bitch Ooh! <laughs> she turn around that fire and fly right, right? To her. Ah! <laughs>
You know what? There's one point in the movie where after all of this, <laughs> after <laughs> everything that's happened, out of all the stuff that we've seen, you know what you're in for now. You know what kind of show it is. So the movie just says, it. let's just go for it. Series. They, they so get the show. The get, series does. The, the, I'm sorry. The, the, the series. I wish it was a movie. I went and spent seven hours with this shit. But... <laughs> <laughs> But they, I ain't even trying to be that mean on this, man. But I'm, it's just, man, it ain't that good. I'm sorry. Uh, they say, it, man, let's just go for it. At this moment, they're like, let's just get real goofy with it. I think by you know, episode three again, they, 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 just, they just throw in not only farts, but throwing them good old-fashioned old people farts. Oh, no. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, Aaron, I'll talk to you later. Now, down. it could be her mouth that's making the noise, but it's still going for the laugh yeah, with the fart. It doesn't sound like a real you know? fart. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I. Poor Fred Willard. Fred Willard, though, I got to say, man, Fred Willard. He, he's, he's still funny. I mean, no, no, no. He was to, well, to the end. Right. Fred Willard, this is, I guess, last role here. Yeah. Gotta be, yeah. Yeah. He's, man, he's actually really funny. The jokes are not all that funny to me. So, to me. And they just keep stretching them out, though. These, these should be like. Quick jokes. Rapid fire. Just rapid fire. Snappy. Let's go. You know, they, they would actually be funnier. But what they do is, man, they, they not only are they, like you said, Martin, not only are they padding the, the, the show out with these jokes and stretching them out where they, where they shouldn't be, but the stories are formed around the jokes more than uh, vice versa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't have that feeling of we're building towards something. Because an episode would come in and completely disrupt the flow. It would be like a, almost a one-off. I was like, all right, I forgot what, what the goal everybody's striving for. Yeah, yeah, same here. And, you know. And it's a standalone, like Law and Order yeah, or some shit. Yeah. You know, I will say, you know, uh, are there anything, damn, Corey, besides, uh, you know, uh, uh, the things that you briefly mentioned. You know, uh, uh, Fred Willard and, you know, uh, one other thing that you mentioned earlier. Is there anything that you, I mean, come on, man. Is there John Malkovich. John Malkovich, yeah. Is there anything that you like in here? Yeah, John Malkovich. John Malkovich, you know, we already said earlier, he's hilarious in this, man. Because he's, not only is he the one that keeps calling Steve Carell on this dumb shit, but he's doing it because he's the smartest person mm -hmm. in the in, in, in the show. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he, <laughs> he's our avatar. He really is. He's us. <laughs> he, is, he really is. <laughs> it's a real joy to see him, man. It's his it's, his uh, uh, his dry humor, man, is very. Oh, it's great. It's, it's, it's really good. It's amazing in here. It's amazing. I haven't enjoyed him in, in something this much in a long time. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I enjoyed uh, uh, another character that we don't have any clips of. We haven't shown any uh, pictures of yet. You might have seen him brief, briefly in the in the in the trailer, but uh, Tawny Newsom, mm -hmm. I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. and she's fine as. Yeah, yeah. Shit, maybe I'm giving her a pass. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, you, show, you show that picture. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what? Shit, I'm gonna go back I, on my, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even hear a joke from her. I was just Ooh. looking at her. No, no. She, she's actually, because she's another smart character who, who when you don't expect, because she's so serious, and yet when she makes a joke, it's pretty good. She made jokes? No, man, she's no, she's actually really funny. Mm -hmm. She's actually very funny, man. Scenes with her and uh, Steve Carell's uh, uh, daughter, daughter yeah. Yeah, that, that are really funny. I felt compelled to keep watching this for one thing, really, and that is because uh, there was one thing that they they did well. I thought they did well to, to like keep you watching episode to episode, and I was compelled to keep watching to see why Lisa Kudrow, who plays his wife, Steve Carell's wife, the general's wife, why is she in jail? They never because it moved. Now, the goddamn the show opens up uh, with her being a free woman, and that, next thing we know, she's in jail, and we they don't explain why. And I thought that that was cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I haven't finished it, so I was like, yeah, I guess I am still watching to, to finally find yeah. out why she's in jail. And I wanted to know why uh, that she was in jail, and I didn't make it. <laughs> you know, oh. I got it. <laughs> you didn't make it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't make it. I tried. Yeah, I didn't I make tried. it. Find she was in jail. I, I tell you what thing. I did. I tell. I tell you what I did to, show, to to let you know that I that I I I, I tried to give this a fair shake. I watched past the halfway mark. There's ten episodes. Okay. So I got to ep I got to episode seven. I will be fair though, and I'm gonna tell you this to show that I'm completely <laughs> fair, and that maybe I need to finish this the, uh, the this series because by the end of episode six, things have gotten real stupid. They got guys out there with robot legs fighting with balloons on their bodies yeah. and walking around like goddamn uh, wind up toys and shit. It's it's, it's dumb as. <laughs> 
And yeah. I said, I have had enough. You know, I'm done with this. And then right when they got to the end, he did something. I said, man, okay, now you want to do this? Right when I'm about to walk out. Right when I call them the lights. Now, now y'all ready to, 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 to finally get your shit straight. By the, by the end of uh, episode six, it seemed to pull itself together because they had, the character seemed to have pulled back on being so goofy and, and stretching out these jokes. Steve Carell and John Malkovich, they have their moments where it's not all about the gags. They actually start having, mm -hmm. they start having chemistry and they start having quiet moments together. Like, hey, let's stop being at odds and work <clears throat> together on this. Their relationship starts to take meaning. It starts to shape up, but they're kind of adversaries when it starts out. Mm. They they still do have like this slight <clears throat> uh, antagonism towards each other, but they uh they, they it feels like these characters are starting to find themselves. Even even uh, uh, this guy, the guy that played what's his name F Gary Gary Ben Schwartz. Oh, Ben Schwartz. Yeah. I want to kick him in his ass every time he came on the screen. But even up by that, that point, because he was going to my nerves. Even by the end of episode six, he was starting to kind of come together. So, and I watched a little bit of episode seven, and I said, oh, "We're kind of getting back to the dumb shit." But you know what? I, the show seems to be actually uh, finding its footing. Maybe you know, and that's why I say maybe this needs a, a second season because this first season is a mess, if you ask me. But I'd be willing to see what a second season will do. And, and they're like, you goddamn right we're getting a second season. Yeah. Shit, we, we paid for a CG chimpanzee. Are you fight your mind? Right. <laughs> Ch paid for a CG chimpanzee and a, CG and dog. a dog right yeah. here. They could, the show has money, so oh, you're going to get another real? <laughs> <laughs> I need to give this, look, it's, I'm seven episodes in. So, you know, I, I, I can't. <laughs> commit. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, three episodes is not going to. You know, we've already, the ratio is off now. So I can't, I, I, you know, by the th last three episodes, even if I really enjoy them, I'm going to be like, but yeah, I have to sit through, you know, four or five hours of it not being what I think is that great. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I'm giving this kind of a, a low rental, man. Uh, but I, I, I would be interested to see what happens with a second season. I would love to hear about it first and see if they came around and then maybe go back. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to watch on my own and find out on my own. But I would be willing to like uh, see what a, a, a second season is like, hear what people say, see if they can take some of the, because this thing has been getting uh, a lot of uh, bad reviews and I'm kind of leaning on the side of the bad reviews. I'm not influenced by them at all. Sure. But if there's a lot of bad reviews out there, because the audiences love it, but if there's a lot of bad reviews out there, maybe they'll take the advice and the feedback and say, all right, this is what we need to do to pick this up. I even hear that I'm not a, a big viewer of The Office. You know, I, I've never really watched it. I'm not saying that when mm -hmm. I watched it that it's, I, I didn't enjoy it. They were funny, but, you know, uh, I heard that it took a little while for that show mm -hmm. to get going. Mm -hmm. I gotta. I'm gonna finish it. I, I so I mean I'm not gonna try to you know rate anything like that. I gotta finish the show. I just have better things to do than to finish it yeah, today. Because no, no, <laughs> like I got this season the episode, episode Look, man, two. I was like yeah. And I then y'all were texting, and I was like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm yeah. going to work out. Uh, you know, I told you, man. I said, I know you, man. I said, Billy, don't, I don't want you coming in here screaming at me because I made you watch this shit. You got something better to do, do it. <laughs> I know. That well, was you, all well, for me, too. Well, you said well, that, well, you, didn't, you didn't tell him enough because when I met him at the door, he was screaming at me. <laughs> Good. I got the car. God damn it. <laughs> Good. You're the only one here. But what would you give it, man, for what you saw? Oh, what I saw was some old bullshit. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, like I said, Mark, like, before, any, before anybody comes at me, I yeah. said, I told you, no, I, no, I, yeah. I was going to finish it, yeah. but you asked me a question, I answered it. Oh, God. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, everybody had a reason to have high expectations of this because of the cast yeah. and Bruce, um, sorry, um, uh, Greg Daniels' track record. And the thing about Greg Daniels' shows is, one, when you look at uh, Parks and Rec and The Office, and, and King of the Hill, but even some, you know, The Simpsons, but even Upload, they all have a lot of elements that we can all identify with. I mean, that's that's the biggest selling point of The Office, yeah. is mm -hmm. that it's not only is, is it, you know, a, a stellar cast and it's, and it's really funny, but everybody who's working <laughs> in The Office can relate to, like, yeah, I've worked with people At like this. At least one person yeah, in there, yeah. I've had an egomaniac yeah. boss like this, mm -hmm. and it, it, it puts me back there, and it makes me laugh. And this show does not have that. This is... This is like, all right, everything you're saying, this is happening, I, I guess. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't have no, I have no uh, experience with the Air Force or uh, going into space. Uh, <laughs> but you yeah. know they don't talk like that. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure they don't. It, 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 it feels inauthentic, right? And that's a big pr- problem. It's like I don't know any of this, but what you're showing me doesn't convince me. Mm-hmm. It seems like like this whole show is based around the fact that hey, we can get this done, and SpaceX is about to launch with uh, with Space Force. I I threw it on in the background. Yeah. And, and and like you, Corey, I got some laughs here and there, and and John Malkovich was the he was the character that was my anchor to it. Because had I not thought hey, we might talk about this, I probably would have turned it off. I mean, there's there's uh, uh, numerous other things I could watch. It's it's a rental. I mean, yeah. hey, Greg Daniels, you done fine so far. Okay, you went to the well one too many times. And an- the last thing I was going to say about Greg Daniels shows is that many of them are not good in the first season. Uh, the office and Parks and Rec were a disaster the first Oh, season. really? I didn't yeah. Know.